<laughs> what do you think? Anybody got any comments? It's a logbook for yourselves. You can fill in things for yourselves. I think you know what I was telling them before you came. I said this is a very interesting thing. It's, a, it's giving you, uh, taking you to a different level of accountability, ensuring patient safety, ensuring your training, ensuring deliverance of the best service to your patient, which is what we are all here for. It's not going to happen in Pakistan in the near future. At least I, I may be pessimistic, but not in my life. But what can happen is what just Paul said. We were discussing Paul, and I said at least we can do is maintain a lot. Know what our secret integration is. Know how much sedation we are doing. We can be accountable. In a system which has no accountability, there always is an accountability within you. We can do that. In our unit, um, we are hopefully we will be able to give you next time what our secret integration is, uh, and there will be a lot of surprises. I may follow. Um, but we will know exactly what numbers have been done by who and we will also know and I think what we will do um, also is we will start involving the technicians like I have just done in my private setting my thing. Uh, I have my timing to see them, terminal island, withdrawal time, uh, sedation, all this is now going so it is all being recorded. And I think that's something that we should start doing and uh, doing here in our unit, at least as an example. The reason, the, what's the importance of knowing your time from in, intubation to sequence? Anybody know? It might take you two minutes, it might take you half an hour, it might take you 40 minutes. But anybody know the importance from, from the point of intubation to the sequence? A study has shown that your attention span goes out the window. So when you withdraw, when you start the examination, often your withdrawal time is a lot less than what the recommended six minutes is. And the lesion detection rate drops in that group. So what they often say is, is anybody who takes more than 30 minutes to get to the sequence, the quality of their withdrawal will not be of a standard sufficient to meet. That's with regards to these boys here. That's their story. So at least we can start doing, those who are on the course, please maintain a logbook. Um, keep on updating us, it is really, really a great feeling to know that you are achieving or you are improving as time goes. We need to do, I, I would have thought, without, you know, what, what Paul is showing here, the numbers are small because the supervision is much better and more global. It may not be available to you in the units that you are practicing, so it may take a little longer. Uh, but you're talking about a few hundred procedures before you actually um, say, well, you know what, I'm almost there with what is expected of. So don't get impatient, don't get disheartened. <coughs> no. But maintain your logbook. <coughs> it will, it, it's very interesting. Next time, <coughs> I used to maintain something, you know, way back in 1991. I'm going to take it out just to share it hopefully in the next course where I was when I started, what my aim, I used to put my feelings as well, how depressing it was initially for the first few weeks when you were not able to do certain things and then how things got and then you stopped doing it. But I think in Pakistan we can at least do that to start with and that's something that we would want to be part of the course. Well, I don't have to be there with you when you fill in your docs form because you, you can actually appraise yourself. I can go to the docs form itself and bring it up. I'm not going to bring up this because this chap's a consultant and, uh, and you know, we are, I've agreed to do this. I'll explain what happens here in a moment. I will fill out the report on you and then I send it you back. It can't be changed once I've sent it back. I don't write anything on it that I'm not willing to discuss with you. And if I, there's something on there that I want to, that isn't up to standard, I've already discussed it with you before it goes on. That's the most important thing. With regards to trainee appraisal feedback, th this chap here is a consultant. He's not performed um, gastroscopy for a few years. He's a guy who came for some uh, reappraisal. He's been with me now for four months. There is a way round the system, <laughs> if you know how to do it. This is the way round. So I, you, as a regional lead, you can give prior accreditation for training. 
but as a regional lead, if I sign you off, when you get signed off, you then, um, their actions are also reflect on you. So I'll sign off, but I'm also going to get him looked at by two of my friends at the same time. So, as in the sense of, when I say I'll sign off, it means that I will sort the documentation out. It's on how he performs on the day. We've not done it yet. That's his submission. And what we do in my department, I meet with um, the endoscopy lead, the uh, gastroenterology lead, myself and the training lead. We all sit down and each individual trainee who you've seen listed, they all get an individual appointment to talk about their, their portfolio every three months. With all four of you? All four. In one time or they, you all meet separately? No, they meet with us all. We have a, in an afternoon. You've got, right, any, any questions? Happy, this is your portfolio, we've looked at it, we're happy. Is there anything that we're not meeting? Are you sure? Are you happy with how your training is going? Are you happy with your list? Happy with everything? Okay, this is what we want you to achieve in the next three months. With regards to this, it's submitted the sign off for. This will not be approved until we meet. And all four of us sit there and then we say, yes, it can go forward. So it's all four, even though I sign off. All four of us have to agree. Okay. And that's the reason why I showed you that. So as you can see, it's tied down. There's a system that um, once you're on, it's done. And if somebody was to give you negative feedback, it cannot be changed. It's stuck. And that's the way it is. Great. Any questions? Thank you. Any questions? This is for the UK trainees only. It's the UK trainees only.